Bill has officially been tipped. More than half of Americans say they put on some of those pesky pandemic pounds. My hand is raised. That's according to a brand new survey. Most of those responders say pandemic stress paved the way for the increase. And that extra weight could keep you from boarding your next flight. It's possible that airlines may start weighing some passengers as they board. Oh my goodness, the suggestion mm -hmm. comes from the FAA. The reaction though comes from Better Call Harry. Welcome to the airport of the future, where in addition to checking your bag, the FAA wants the airlines to check your weight. We need you to step on the scale. Step on the scale, please. This is no joke. A flight's average weight varies depending on city and on season. 220? Yeah. You're 220, but you got a bag on here. That means the old calculation for determining a plane's average weight is outdated. Here's the new calculation, where S equals, yeah, step on the scale. Um, I wouldn't want to step on a scale. That could be kind of humiliating for some people. It wouldn't be a full-time thing, and you could always opt out. But even the suggestion. <laughs> Come on. You not supposed to ask a woman that. I don't think it's a, uh, it, it would be nice. Some airlines do weigh passengers in other countries. Do they weigh you in Canada before you get on a plane? No, they don't. But this is America. You're four? Yeah, but you're more than 40 pounds. Where singling people out is certain to backfire. Okay, okay, great. Unless you take a group approach. All right, come on, keep going. On second hand, maybe not. Oh, yeah. At Hartsfield Jackson. You just take off the backpack. Better call Harry, CBS 46 News. Delta Airlines, they opted not to weigh in, deferring comment to the FAA. Southwest Airlines, well, it says they have a choice between weighing people and using standard weights provided by the CDC. It is going with the CDC.